I get what you're trying to do here, but I, I, I think Laramie, Laramie Tunsil is a known, right? Yeah. Laramie Tunsil is a known. Um, Minka Fitzpatrick is a known. So you're – like when we talked about it with this with John Gruden, like, I cool, we're going to trade away Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack, I think we all believe, is on track to have a Hall of Fame career, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's a hard thing to find. So the idea that you're going to give up a Khalil Mack – for the idea of potentially getting a first-round pick, which history suggests at best is a 50-50 shot at being a legitimate starter, that to me is not a good way to build I, your I, team. I don't think it's – here's the thing, because I, I – listen, I, I talked about this a lot, about giving up this guy, but I'm looking at their side of it in the plan. It's not just getting a first-rounder for him. What else are you not doing if you get, don't have Khalil Mack? You're not paying him. And if you're not paying him that money, it means you have more money under the cap to go out and get other free agents as well. So now they need numbers. They need numbers, and that's what they're trying to do. They got a draft pick for it, and they have the ability to have a bunch of money under the cap to go out and get other players as well. Does that mean they're not going to get a player like Khalil Mack? I yeah. agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you. But as many were saying, and they're true, how was Ra the Raiders doing with Khalil Mack and a bunch of others around him? They weren't winning. So you had to change the process, get a first rounder for him, have more money under the cap to go acquire other players as well. Yeah, so. and I guess that's the thing is a to, to Larry Tunsil and Minka Fitzpatrick were not Khalil Mack. Like yeah, that, there's a yeah. there's a big. I, I, I understand that. My my point deviation being, between I, I, listen, and you're right, they weren't winning with him, but that doesn't mean they're a better team without him. No, no, no. I'm not saying yeah. that. Oh, they're, they're definitely trying not. To, they're trying so. to build to that by getting the draft pick and having the money to spend on free agency because they need. They need quality, but they need quantity as well. Right. And that one player wasn't going to do it, and especially if they paid that one player and he had such a big cap hit for the team. Yeah. Listen, I, I get it, but at the end of the day, you're always better with better players. And, well, and, and I, I just I just well, don't – I don't. Well, 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 yeah. hold on a minute. I, I, you say, oh, of course, but there's no guarantee that any of these picks are going to be any better than the two guys they just gave right, up. Right, and there, and there was no guarantee the way it was going with Khalil Mack and Oakland that they were going to win after they were now paying him $20 million I, a year I, and he took up a lot of the cap. I guess if you're going to go in for Tua Tonga Vailoa, you'd rather have Laramie Tunsil there and have Mika Fitzpatrick on the back end than just but say you're not going to get. Picks. But you're not going to get Tua Tonga Vailoa. No, with the way the things are going with the Jets, there's no guarantee you're going to get him this way. Yeah, there's no listen. There's no guarantee yeah. of any of this. No, the point isn't. is, they didn't like where they were going. They understood this hard reset is the best way to change course for them in their mind, and they're trying something because they've been bad for a while. Weren't, they weren't they in the playoffs two years ago? Didn't they? Weren't they in the playoffs? They, two they were in the years playoffs ago. two or three years ago. We yeah. under, we yeah. understand that. But it's been, first season it's they been, were there in the playoffs. I would say it's been a nightmare other than that for a while though. There, it's been constant upheaval, and so they said, all right, we'll try a hard reset. We'll try and do something different here. And if not, what's the worst that happens? Like we see teams then that you are reset off, again. Yeah, we see teams. Goes are awful goes all the goes. time. Yes. It yeah. goes in a cycle because you're going to do that anyway until you find a quarterback. Yeah, that's what guys. I, I will also chime in on this from the Raiders' angle. Paul Gutierrez. I think you are chiming in on this. Well, I, I know that's what I'm doing. Paul Gutierrez, the ESPN NFL Nation reporter, wrote an article last or earlier this year looking at what happened from Mack and Cooper. And the fact is, uh, we all know that Antonio Brown no longer there. But as the article pointed out back then, the $65 million that Mack and Cooper would have cost them turned into Antonio Brown, Trent Brown, uh, Trent Brown, Tyrell Williams, LaMarcus Joyner, and then they used the draft capital. It comes back to a, a matter of numbers. The Dolphins have almost $120 million in cap space that's available to them also next year. So they can take a look at their entire roster when they know how bad it is. They'll have the equity to move up if they want a quarterback, and then they can address, address several positions across the board. So that explains part of the Laramie Tunsil portion of it. To assume that Minka Fitzpatrick, though, like he wanted a trade. That's all I'm saying. Like You can't necessarily loop that in just with tanking. If he wants out, that's part of what they're doing. <laughs> He, well, he's he's out because they are tanking. That's why he wants out. Well, um, he's real, also out, but because according to his representatives, at the, at the he end wasn't of the day, used right. Real quickly, we got to move on. And I appreciate you chiming in. But at the end of the day, you can have all the uh, the capital that you want. But if people don't believe you're committed to winning, why would they want to go there? Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.